the mafia's after you, you make 3k a month, what's the move? Alright, so we're in New York, had some sort of gambling debt with the mafia, and now we are in trouble. We have to remember that the mafia of today is not the mafia of the 80s or 60s or 40s where they were, had all the power in the world. They're much less powerful today, but still not to be messed with. Since 2011, the Italian mafia and Mexican cartel have had connections. So to me, Latin America is basically out. We don't want to go there. Now, this is the Italian mafia, so we probably don't want to go to Italy or really any of the surrounding countries in Europe. That's just to me a danger zone. We'd basically be taking an unnecessary risk by being anywhere that close to it. So we are limited by the 3k a month budget, and so we don't have that many options. So to me, the obvious decisions here would be maybe somewhere in the Middle East or Southeast Asia. I think with that amount of money, the overall quality of life will be much better in Southeast Asia, so we're gonna go with that. People have been disappearing in the Philippines for over 20 years. Its geography, made up of over 7,000 islands, makes it almost impossible to be found. So we have no chance of blending in since we're in the Philippines anyways, we're gonna opt for a bigger city, like Manila. Honestly, with $3,000 a month, you can live like a king in Manila. You can get an apartment like this for $1,200, have plenty of money left over for food and fun, find a girlfriend like this, and just enjoy life now. A trove of new information was released on the Idaho murders by authorities on Thursday. We've already talked about the big news, but there may have been some details that you missed. So here's what stood out to me. A long-standing TikTok and Reddit rumor has finally been cleared up. It's been speculated that Ethan Chapin's body was found in the doorway to Zana's room, but that's not true. And that is according to the officer who was on scene who confirmed that Ethan's body was inside of Zana's bedroom. Zana was also attacked inside of her bedroom. Her body was found by police on the floor. Another fact that we learned, Zana got a DoorDash delivery, which got to the house at 4 a.m. just minutes before the killer would slip inside. We also know that at 4.12 a.m., Zana was awake because her cell phone records show that she was actually on TikTok. Now those facts also narrow down the timeline for the murder. Investigators originally thought it was between three and six or three and four, but between the DoorDash and Xana's phone records, as well as tons of CCTV footage of Brian Koberger's white Hyundai traveling around, cops were able to whittle down the time frame to between 4.05 and 4.20 a.m. Now this also answers the question as to whether or not the killer was already in the house lying in wait. According to police, he wasn't. Brian Koberger's white Hyundai was captured between CCTV footage and cell phone information driving back and forth past the front of this King Road house three times between 3 and 4 a.m. And then at 4.04 a.m., he drove behind the house to that back road, Queen Road, where he parked. We've all been asking from day one, where was the dog and why didn't it bark? Well, the dog was shut in Kaylee's room at the time of the murders and he did bark. A security camera from a nearby building, which was located closer to Zana's bedroom, that side of the house, actually picked up muffled noises at 4.17 a.m. It heard the dog barking, whimpers and whispers, and a loud thud. During the second processing of the crime scene, a latent shoe print was discovered that featured this diamond-shaped pattern, which is consistent with a pair of Vans. And the direction the shoe was going tracked with what Dylan said she saw when she witnessed the killer walking towards her. Earlier this fall, Brian Koberger applied for an internship with the Pullman Washington Police Department saying that he had an interest in helping them analyze data for public safety operations. Hill County 911, what's your emergency? I just killed my children. Excuse me? I just killed my children. Where are you? Um, I'm in the abandoned house on Highway 77 right after you go underneath the highway. One of them's still alive. Hurry. How, under what highway? You're on Highway 77 where? I'm on Highway 77 right after you go under 35 going towards Milford. Get an ambulance out here to save the one that didn't die. Come on. Hurry up. What's your name? Fitz, call them. Have you already called them? Yes, ma'am, I have. Okay. I need your name. I don't want to say my name. Hello? Hello. Are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Seventy-seven toward Milford. Right after you cross under the bridge, she's telling me she's killed her children. Are you in your car? No, I'm not in my car. I'm in the house walking around. And um, one of them's still alive, for real. She's asking to be saved, and I couldn't handle that. And so now she's, she's in an abandoned house. At it's that been location. a long time. 
She might already die because she's flat out. Okay. Well, I've got we've got people in route. Get an, get an ambulance because one of them's still alive. Sit. Can you tell me what happened, ma'am? Hello, ma'am. Can you tell me what happened? I can't get the door open. You can't get what door open, darling? The front door, so y'all can come in when y'all get here. Why won't it open? I don't know. Hold on. Are you on the right hand side of the road or the left hand side of the road, sweetie? Okay, they're coming. They're coming. I just I would just want to try to clarify clarify exactly where they are. Can you tell me what happened? I don't want to say. I don't see any lights. They're not coming. Well, they're on their way. My partner's getting getting them to you just as quickly as she can. Okay. How many? How many children do you have? Oh. Huh? Two. Two. One of them is dead. One of them is dead. She's dead, dead. But the other one, she wants to be saved, and I'm. She needs to be safe, and I don't see any lights. Tell them to get down here. Honey, they're I'm coming. Here. They're coming. Do you have any weapons? Um, I do. I have a knife. She has a knife. Should I throw it away? No, ma'am. Just, just put it there. She's got a knife. Can you not tell me what your name is? Huh? Huh? Hold on. What's your name, darling? I'm not telling you my name. How old are your children? Hold on. You Hurry up. Honey, they are coming. They're on their way. You should be hearing lights and sirens. Seeing lights and hearing sirens. Are you still with me? I'm still with you. Hello? I'm here. They're not here. They, they're on their way, sweetheart. They had to come from different parts of the county. Hold on, kid. They're coming. Tell them not to shoot me. I don't have a gun. Okay. She doesn't want to get shot because she doesn't have a gun. Okay. When they get there, uh -huh. I want you to lay the knife down. Out. When you get the door open, I want you to lay the knife down so they can see that you don't have any weapons. Okay. Oh my God, she's dead. Oh my God. How old are the children? I won't tell you. She wants you to hurry. Honey, they are coming. They're coming as fast as they can. They're trying to be sure. Do you see them? They're coming. Do you see them? Do you see them? No, I'll come here. They're coming. Hold on. Can you see the lights? No. I see something down at the end of the road. I see car lights, but not, not fire lights, not police lights. She says this is... She says they're in. She can see them. I hear them. Okay. Okay, you need to. I know, I understand that. I want. She's dead. By the house, both hands up except for one. Because I want to talk. She's got her hands up except for the fact that the one that she's on the phone with. So she's out in the yard. She says she's out in the yard beside the house. Okay, goodbye. I see them. They're right here. Goodbye.
Can you confirm or deny that a window was broken in order to gain access into the home? Uh, there were multiple windows. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah.